Wow, guys, Trump makes an important announcement. Check this out. While Biden and Harris have been impoverishing our country, they have been getting rich, very rich at your expense now. It just came out, just was reported today by a great young reporter, Brooke Singman at Fox, according to a 292-page report from the House Oversight Judiciary and Ways and Means Committees in Congress. Just got out a little while ago, just before I got here, I said, no, I want to talk about it just briefly. It's so sad because he's going to be making a speech tonight and they don't call him Crooked Joe for no reason. They said President Biden engaged in impeachable conduct and said he abused his office and defrauded the United States of America to enrich his family. Republicans revealed that since 2014, the Biden family and its associates received more than $27 million from foreign individuals and entities. They also found that while Biden was serving as vice president, the Biden family got more than $8 million in loans from Democrat benefactors. And they said that those loans have never been repaid. Those are the best kind of loans, aren't they? This report says in part that Vice President Biden actively participated in this conspiracy by, among other things, attending dinners with his family, foreign business partners, and speaking to them by phone, often being placed on speakerphone by Hunter Biden. Republicans are calling out a 2014 dinner that Hunter Biden and his family attended with a Russian oligarch, and they said that after that dinner, that oligarch wired $3.5 million to Hunter Biden's firm very quickly. It was a very quick wiring. I'm sure he worked very hard for the money. Several witnesses testified that Hunter Biden invoked his father in business dealings with Romanian, Chinese, Kazakhstani, and... So this guy basically did business with everybody. Him and Kamala here are some of the biggest hypocrites known to mankind. This is... This is it doesn't get worse than this. I'm not going to lie. I want to know what you guys think about that. Let's keep going. Ukrainian companies, in addition to other companies and people, resulting in millions and millions of dollars flowing into the Biden family. As everybody knows, uh, three and a half million dollars was sent from the mayor of Moscow. The mayor of Moscow's wife. Remember, I brought that up in the debate I had. I said, why did this happen? And the anchor wouldn't let me ask that question. They thought it was inappropriate, but then it blew up. Three and a half million dollars were sent by the mayor of Moscow's wife to the family. They were also calling out Biden for his handling of classified documents. They said during his tenure as vice president, Joe Biden removed highly sensitive classified documents from the White House despite having no authority to do so. And remember, Comrade Kamala, she knew everything, and the senators knew what was going on. And by the way, I had my own classified documents case, and I was totally exonerated. Totally. It was a case brought by Joe Biden and Kamala. She was involved. Uh, they uh, did that in order to interfere with the election. And it still goes on different cases, but that was, according to most, the big one. And we were totally exonerated. The case was won a month ago. Very little coverage of the case being won, I must say. I think that a lot of the media didn't even talk about it. There's no way someone could have stolen that much money without Democrat senators knowing what was going on. He wined and dined them at Joe's houses. They saw his boats. They saw the way he lived. They saw his beautiful mansions. I would have made billions of dollars in this job if I wanted to play that game the way they played it. But instead, I took the job very seriously and very importantly. And you can see from the recently announced financial reports, I don't need the money. And I'm proud to announce that doing and being president, I lost billions of dollars. And I knew that would happen. Maybe not quite as much as that, but I'm sorry. 
did, did you hear what he just said? He said he lost billions and billions of dollars. He knew it would happen, but he wanted to fight for this country. He wanted to make this country a better place. But you see, Kamala and Joe Biden, they're taking money from different countries, laundering money, doing whatever, hiding classified documents, just making us a completely fool to the whole world. Let's keep going. Satisfied with that because we want to make America great again. That's much more important. We have to make America great again. Okay. No, I could have played it the other way. I could have made so much. I see some of my friends over here. I could have made so much. No, I didn't want to do that. This is too important. This is too big a thing. We've got to save our country because our country is really in big trouble. We're a nation in decline. We're going down uh, the drain. The drain is the swamp that you've heard so much about. You, uh, they get rich, and in Washington, some of these politicians, what they're doing to our country is disgraceful. But he's one of the leaders of the pack. You have others. The number one step we will take to launch a great American manufacturing renaissance will be to end Kamala Harris's war on American energy. It's a war. And you do know that inflation was caused by her cutback on energy. And then what they did is they, in a panic move, shortly thereafter, when the numbers for gasoline, oil, and electricity, and everything else that comes from energy and out of energy, when they started going through the roof, they immediately went back to the Trump plan. But what they didn't go back to is my plan would have been doubled, tripled, and even quadrupled from the numbers I had four years ago. They didn't do that. They brought it back to a similar, because they were getting just absolutely destroyed by the numbers that was going up. And you can bet that if we don't win, she takes over, your energy numbers will be triple and quadruple, and you won't be producing a drop of oil. They ended the large. So I live in the uh, Indiana and in California. I know gas is probably like six dollars, five dollars there, but I think gas might go up to maybe ten or twelve dollars if we don't elect if we don't elect this guy. Honestly, that's what I think. And I think we're going to see eight dollar prices here in Indiana if if this was to happen. Just oil reserve anywhere in the world, probably as large as Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Arabia has this massive amount of oil. It's called Anwar in Alaska. They ended it on close to day one. They ended it. Ronald Reagan couldn't get it. No other president got it. I got it. And it's bigger than Russia, bigger than Saudi Arabia, most likely. They seem to think biggest in the world. They've been after, they've been after getting that approved for many, many decades. Ronald Reagan worked so hard to get it, he couldn't get it. I got it. And then they ended it. They were just set to start drilling. Everything was done. Guys, I'm going to leave the original link to this video in the description so you could check it out fully. But you could easily tell he's clear-minded. The leadership is clear. It, if we elect him, we would know who's going to be in control. He knows, he knows what he wants to do. He has a plan. And I think we should just do as much research as we can about their policies and go forward from there. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.